Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to use the Rhino 3D software to create this bamboo ring 3D model with the simple command by using the sweep. Are you ready? Let's get started. To make this ring, let's take a look on the structure of it. This ring has one smaller area and coming into the big area and coming to a smaller area. So the whole ring is being cut into the A section. So if we can separate it into the A section, we just need to work on one area and then we can repeat it, go all the way to the rest. All right, so that's starting from the scratch. That's coming over at the front view and then we want to decide how big is our ring size. And in this demonstration, I'm going to use a 16 millimeter and use this command for circle. All right, now when we come into a circle, we need to divide it into A section. So we're gonna use the divide command and we want to divide it. It will say where uh, if you want to drag the seam or something like that, I'm going to stay the same seam and I want to divide it into the A section. So on the top right here, you're going to type in eight and hit enter. Now you're going to see those points right there. All right, but I wanted the point to be just right on the top. It's easier for me to work on it. And in fact, I might need to rotate them a little bit. So I'm going to rotate it. If I am going to have a 360 degree and divide it by 16. So I'm going to rotate it like half of the distance there. And in fact, we don't need the rest of them. We just need a two on the top. So we are just going to work on those two. As long as we can work on those two points in between, and then we can pull it array with the same number for eight. So you get an idea for what I'm trying to do here. All right, first thing is we need to draw the cross section. So I'm gonna come in into right view and to draw the cross section. So first of all, let's draw an arc and this arc is gonna snap in here for whatever size that you wanted to make as a cross section. And then I'm going to come in to the bottom with my polyline and I'm gonna snap in into the end point to the end point. Now, if you just go ahead to sweep this, your ring is going to be really sharp on the angle, right? And it's going to cut somebody there. So let's go ahead to fit it the curve. I'm going to fit it something uh, pretty big, like 0.5 here and here, here and here. So they will be nice and round. Okay. Now coming into here, I need to have another one going here, another one going there with the same profile. Okay, so let's go ahead to use the rotate and make sure on the top copy equal yes. And I want to snap in into the zero and I'm going to starting from this point to this point. But how do I snapping in there on the bottom that you are just need to make sure your O snap is snapping into the point. I want to make one copy there and another copy there. All right. In fact, just one copy is fine. And then we need to kind of scale this one up. So I'm going to using the 3D scale, but the center I want to snap in into here and just make them a little bit bigger. Now, the bigger that you have, the more dramatic you are going to have, right? The reason I did it the other one is because I can just mirror this one to the other side. So I don't have to do the 3D scale again. All right, so now we have something like this. Let's go ahead to use the sweep one. And this is your rail and this is going to go from one, two and three. Hit enter. I always like them to align, but sometimes it's hard to see if they are correctly aligned. The best way is always moving them to the middle of your ring shank right there. And then you will get something like this. All right. That look good. And then, so then we have one section there. If you want them to be more dramatic, then you can make the middle one smaller, but I will leave that to you. Okay. Now we have a front at the front view and we need to make the A section there. So let's go ahead to use the polar array and we want to snap in into the zero right here. And let's choose the number for eight and for 360 degree and then we'll get something like this. Don't forget to join them so you will get something as a poly, a closed poly surface. Now if you look at this and then we're looking at the render view and pretty much we'll get something like this. But I do want it to have a section right in the middle. So let's go ahead to use the ghost view and simply on this curve, I just wanted to pipe it. 
and pipe it with something small, maybe like a 0.25, something like this. All right. And with that, I also need a section of them. So let's go ahead to use the polar array. I want to pick up this one and using the polar array and we want to A of them and there will be something like that. Now, if you take a look on the render view and then you will get something look like this, it's not too bad. If you like that, just need to go ahead to trim those little extra that coming into inside of the ring rail, right? If you don't like that, let's go ahead to use a Boolean different. And instead of coming out, we want them to cave in. And then you will get the section like this. Watch out this though. This is going to be really sharp for your casting. So let's give it a try. I want to fit it the edges and for something really small, 0.15 uh, for fitted edges. And we want to try on one edges first. Let's take a look on the ghost view. Make sure you choose all the way around. Otherwise, it will break for sure. So let's give it a try, something like this, and see if one. Uh, 0.15 working and then you want to take a look on the render view and see if that is working. It's a lot more smoother and it's avoid a lot of the casting issues. So I want to go back and come back into the ghost view. Now I know 0.15 will work. So I'm going to select everybody there for 0.15 and we're going to do it once. So you can get something like that. Take a look on the render view, double make sure this is what you're looking for. I hope you enjoy this video. I have a lot of trick and tips showing on my membership program. Not only you learn a lot, you also support a small YouTuber like me to creating more video for everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the membership program. See you next.